What's up guys, and if you notice right off the bat, something's changed about my computer, and I'm about to reveal that. So first off, let me go off by saying that I have almost successfully gone completely open source, except for the fact that I'm running Windows. So what I mean by that is that more than half of my programs on this computer are open source, are free, are basically the are basically the same the equivalent of what most people are paying for except completely free so first off if you notice my super bar down here icons have changed once again sorry about that icons have changed and I have downloaded more programs and got rid of a couple others so first off off the bat if you notice this used to be Windows Live Messenger but now I ditched it for Trillion and the reason being is because, well, at first, I loved Windows Live Men Messenger. I really do. But because of Google, that changed a lot. Because of Google, and because they forced me to use Gmail, I, I really had no u use for Windows Live Messenger, other than checking Facebook and messaging friends. But really, there's only one friend I do message on Windows Live Messenger. And at first, when I got Windows Live Messenger, and I'm talking beta and all the other stuff I thought huh this new Facebook checking feature is really cool I think I'll use this plus the integration with Facebook chat is awesome as well but since go since that little incident with Google I said you know what screw this if I I really don't use Hotmail anymore and I can get Facebook chat somewhere else and I really like enjoying checking actual Facebook than using Windows Live Messenger so I finally kicked Windows Live Messenger out of my computer and now the only Windows Live program that's remaining on here is Windows Live Photo Gallery and Movie Maker just for those extra emergency situations so right now I am using Trillion as you can see here it is docked to the side of my screen as usual and so far what I have connected is Google Ch Google Talk for actually alerting my alerting me when I have an email. I do not use it for chatting whatsoever. I have MSN connected here, but I really don't use that as well other for one contact. I have Facebook chat as you can cl clearly see here. Let's see. And let's see. I think I got tr I got Twitter connected here, but I don't think it's appearing right now. Plus, what else I like about Trillion is that I can customize it to be anything and everything, as well as plugins and other stuff like that. I do realize there's, uh, what is it, Bebo and Mebo and Pigeon, but I really like Trillion because I know the name and I know Chris Perillo uses it, so I might as well. Second off, Thunderbird mentioned it in my last computer screen video. Don't need to mention it. And then next, I have Firefox 4. Let's see, and I'll I will do a review probably next video. Let's see, and then we have OpenOffice.org 3.3, the final release, and I know there's an alpha of 3.4 out. I'll probably download that sometime on. And then next, as you see here, I got rid of Songbird and I got rid of whatever else you probably saw in between, and I'm now using Windows Windows uh, Media Player as my main media player. Mainly because, well, I just wanted something that would sync sync songs easily with my HTC Aria seamlessly and it wouldn't replace any of the songs. Basically, I needed something simple and easy to use and Windows Media Player, I just stuck with. I decided to give it another chance and yeah. Let's see, next there's Skype, Pinnacle, Spybot and paint and then this here is actually cam studio 2.6 I really have to say major improvement I'm using the lost less codec 1.5 not 1.4 it turns out after you upgrade cam studio to 2.6 it automatically comes with the lost less codec except you have to download 1.4 first not exactly sure how that works not exactly why that works but yeah it just works Alright, so I'll see you guys later. My next video will probably be a review of Firefox 4, yet again.